My name is Brian and welcome to WrenchFest Garage. Today we're going to be showing you how to replace your worn out stereo in your 99 through 06 Super Duty. This is the radio we're going to put in. This is a Kenwood and the reason that I chose this radio because it has Bluetooth and it has a backup camera. It came with this backup camera, got it on the Amazon. This is what you're going to need to bolt it into your dash. This is what you're going to need for your electrical. This goes from the factory Ford plug and then you can just wire it directly to your stereo. So I've had this truck for about six years now and it's had the original stereo in it the whole time. And basically it has no volume until the trucks run for about a half hour. So yeah, it just sucks. So it's gotta go. Step one, we gotta pull out this bezel right here and hopefully I can just grab it with my fingers and pull it off. We're gonna put this so the shifter's out of the way. Put some blocks into your tires or put your brake on so it doesn't roll away. Hopefully, we can get this off without breaking something. It's stuck on the column. There it goes. Okay, and there's some wiring here on the switch that needs to be pulled off. This is the Ford light switch that has to come out. Um, it's on the left side of your dash. It has this little lever here. So if you push that little lever in, this will pop out. And then you got to do the electrical on the back of it. So Ford has these two uh, kind of their safety keepers. So you got to push the red things out this way and out that way. And then you can push the little tab right here to slide it out of the uh, light switch. You have to release the wire for your PowerPoint and it's just a push tab and hopefully it comes apart. My plastic's getting a little brittle and a little old and it's kind of hard there. It came out. That was a fight. But it's out and I broke the tab because it's old and brittle. And the next thing you got to do, undo the antenna for the stereo and then the electrical. There it is. Okay, there's a push tab on the back of your radio. You got to push that little tab. It's on the bottom side. And this is out. So with a dash out like this, there's two metal tabs that holds the radio in. And you can just push them in with your fingers and this slides out. This is the adapter that plugs directly into the Ford wiring and it basically has all these ends. So you can just start wiring this into your radio. The radio doesn't quite fit in the dash so we're going to have to do a little trimming. As you can see, it just doesn't quite fit in the hole. Top and bottom is where it's hitting. Side to side, it's fine. It's got enough room side to side. So we're going to do a little careful trimming and see if we can get it to fit. This is what we have to trim out. This top edge and this bottom edge right here. That was a whole lot of plastic melting and I don't know about a whole lot of cutting, but We'll see if we can clean that up a bit. I got as far as I could with the grinder. Kind of made a mess of things, melted a lot of plastic, but it doesn't really matter because the radio is going to hopefully cover all that up. I'm going to go in there with the side cuts and trim out as best as I can and then finish cleaning up with this file. Yay, it fit. Okay. There's a couple screws up here on the dash. Not sure what they're for, but uh, we're going to go ahead and pull them out. We're going to attach these brackets to the side of the radio, and these allow you to just slide the radio in. And it's got these little hooks right here that kind of hook in, and it goes something like that. So we're going to attach them like that. And then we'll be able to slide that in and hopefully it'll hold it. All right, it fits in perfectly. The edges are nice. Everything looks good. I like it. This is the plug that adapts it to the Ford. And this is the one that plugs into the back of the radio. As you can see, they're light colors. Well, basically we're going to Go color to color. We're gonna hook all this together. This is probably the power ground, whatever side. 
and this will be the speaker side so we'll just go color to color plug it in go for a test run see if it works We got everything connected, everything wired up. Uh, we got a couple extra wires here, but that's just for the antenna. I think that's for like if you have an automatic antenna to go make it go up and down, which obviously I don't have. But basically, now this just plugs into the back of the stereo, and that'll plug directly into your Ford connector. I believe this one goes here. That's in. That's in. Now we're gonna plug it in the truck, see if it works. See if I blow a fuse or smoke comes out. Let's see what happens. Hey, something's happening. Whoa, it turned on. Okay, we plugged it in. Everything works, first time. I'll be darned. So now we gotta wire up the camera, the backup camera. We got the new camera assembled as per the instructions. So now we're going to go back and take off the old camera off the license plate bracket and we're going to screw this one on. This one just bolts onto the license plate bracket. It's pretty simple. This camera here was a Amazon special and kind of worked when it wanted to and a lot of times it didn't work but it was good enough for backing up trailers every once in a while or to back up to a trailer. This is the wire that came with the camera. So we need to run this from the camera all the way along the frame of the truck up into the cab and you got power, you got ground, and then the end of, other end of that hooks to the back of the radio. I don't know exactly how we want to run it, but that's, I want that. Probably need to get rid of the old camera. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to run the wires from the front to the back. So we're going to drop it down here, kind of where it's going to eventually wind up going into the cab. We're going to drop it down here and run it all the way to the back. And then we'll go back through and zip tie everything up good, kind of after I get it where I want it to run. <laughs> To drop my spare tire down just a little bit so I can get that last couple of feet of wire through the cross members and whatnot. Just can't quite get my arms up in there. got the wires run up to the firewall so now we're gonna stuff them through the firewall we're gonna put a little bit of loom around them so they don't get chafed and then we'll continue wiring them inside the cab this is from the backup camera and we're just running it up through the dash we got it ran up through the firewall it runs up and plugs into the back of the radio the camera needs switched power so ignition power it goes into this right here I'm already tapped into my fuse box right here with a tap so I'm just going to splice this into this wire here and that's how we're going to do that. This is where we tapped into the reverse lights. It is the yellow wire. This is directly below the master cylinder and it sits on the inner fender. Uh, it is a black wire with a pink tracer. That's not necessarily the best spot to do it, but it works. All right, we're gonna test this reverse light. This is the yellow wire we brought in through the firewall. We're just gonna turn the truck on, put it reverse. We should have power here. Okay, we got her. 
That's now, what you want to see? That's what I want to see. Now we just got to hook this up to the back of the radio and we should be good to go. This is where we plug the camera in. It says cam in, so I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Okay, we're going to hook up the yellow wire that we hooked into our reverse light to this wire on the back of the radio that says reverse. So this should be pretty simple, straightforward. And then we'll give it a test run, see if she's going to work. I left myself a little bit extra wire, so when we pull this back out, if we ever have to, it won't be too tight. Probably way too much wire, but whatever. Okay, so everything's hooked up, so that should work. Haha! <laughs> Success! Now we gotta plug in the microphone. So it just goes in this one. And then we're gonna figure out a way to fish it out under the dash. We gotta hook up the antenna, and I think we're gonna that's all we're gonna hook up now. There is a uh, some add-ons for like an amp and stuff like that, but we're not gonna use that right now. So yeah, this should be it. This is where we wound up putting the microphone. It's just kind of stickered on there. It'll work, it's good enough. Uh, we're thrilled with the way it turned out. Everything's good. Uh, we're probably gonna do a review in maybe a month on this, just a quick review. So you can decide if this is the route you wanna go. Make sure everything's still working the way we want to. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.